section 4.4 more proofs and we're gonna look at how to prove more triangles congruent but this time we're looking at SAS and HL where SAS is side angle side and HL is hypotenuse leg now before we go into these new ways to prove triangles congruent you need to understand what an included angle is and an included angle means it's the angle between two sides. It's the angle formed by those sides. For example, given sides EF and EG, so we have EF and EG, Angle 1 is the included angle, which means angles 2 and 3 are the excluded angle. We could also see that I could look at different sides, perhaps FG and EG, in which case angle 3 would be the included angle, or we could look at sides EF and FG in which case angle 2 would be the included angle. Hopefully that definition makes sense because now we'll go on to postulate 20. So we've already discussed in class that there are other ways to prove triangles congruent. Postulate 20 tells us the side angle side or SAS congruence postulate. So this is our SAS postulate. And this tells us that, again, given two triangles, if two sides and of one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle, okay, so two sides and one included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So we now have a second way to prove triangles congruent. Add this to your list. So far we have the SSS postulate, we now have SAS postulate. And let's look at an example. Given the drawing below, prove triangle ABC congruent to triangle CDA. Well, since I'm not given it, I can pull out my givens. And I can see that I'm given BC congruent to AD. I'm also given BC parallel to AD. So let's construct a proof. Now before I jump in, I have two ways to prove triangles congruent, SSS and SAS. Looking at my diagram, let's sketch an idea. I already have one side congruent, and that's my BCAD side. I also know that the shared side, AC, is congruent. Can I prove the third side congruent? I'm not seeing a way to do it now. But maybe I can prove that the included angle of these two sides is congruent. I'll label those angle 1 and angle 2. And I see that since I have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, that angles 1 and 2 are indeed congruent and that's because they're alternate interior angles. So let's now construct this as the formal proof. 